you are looking for something to use in the garden to tie things up, to for trellising, for all that kind of stuff, I highly recommend you get hay twine, nylon hay twine. Nylon hay twine is really, really strong and you usually can get it for free, either through the bales of hay that you purchase or from somebody else who purchases bales of hay. Usually they come, they come in a few different sizes. Usually they come in this size. Sometimes there's they're really thick ones and occasionally you'll get these really thin ones, but either way, it's really strong stuff. It doesn't, it won't, um, you know, fall apart during the year. It's not like jute twine. It is really, really uh, long lasting and it's free. I'll show you how I use it. So here are my tomatoes. I have not finished um, using the twine, but as you can see, I have started to block them off. Um, these are all indeterminate uh, varieties, which means that they will grow indeterminately. They don't have a, uh, they don't grow to a certain size and stop. So uh, my plan is to use more and more twine to help them grow up these T-posts. So I put these T-posts here. So um, yeah, I've, they're very close together, but I tend to do this. And I also tend to break off the bottom uh, leaves as well to give more um, energy for the top to grow. Um, so this is the first time I'm actually doing it this way, but I have grown tomatoes on um, this type of uh, twine before. 